Hello everybody, welcome to an incredible match, the most hype we've ever been. It's Dwarves versus Dwarves, I can barely contain myself. In the booth with me is Faimir, hello. Hello, I can wait to see the crazy plays you're gonna see in this game. Oh It'll yeah. Be amazing. <laughs> yeah, I imagine we'll see some two dice blocks. I think people will use guard to make two dice blocks and they'll do it like, you know, upwards of five times a turn. It's gonna be thrilling. <laughs> we have we have Shublo versus Dionysian, um, which you know are good players probably. Blood balls, but it's dwarves. Well, I have to say that the Dio's team is a complete monstrosity. Two string ups, Aji up, moving. Yeah. Yeah, Dio's team looks better, doesn't it? And uh, Chu Blanc has, does have a uh, wizard. So, TV agrees that Dio's team is better. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Not a big danger missing the shoe hands there. Not a big danger. Will we see like some kind of wild movements from Dio to try and exploit this with his movement for agility two players? Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> he has a IG four movement seven at the ground side of the pitch. Yep. I mean he does he's got look he's got the juggernaut there. He might be threatening this with his movement for agility two players, and he is. He there fucking you go, is! There you go. <laughs> Fucking Dio coming in hot with a move for Raj 2. Let's go, champs. Basing up. Risky, risky play here, basing up, because, you know, there's plenty of guard on either side. This is this must be calculated risks. A dodge there to cut the corner. That means he must be planning on maybe making the GFIs as well. This is a... It's a bit dodgy, right? Because obviously, if he wasn't stand firm, you could have totally pulled back and punched him away and then blitzed the runner, but now you really want to hit him because... With Juggernaut. He's getting hit with Juggernaut. Wow, he rerolled it anyway. He, forgot, he must have forgot he had Juggernaut. <laughs> he must have literally forgot he had Juggernaut, despite the fact that he picked the skill. I'm piling on. Because that there's no reason to reroll. That, that's incredibly greedy with the ball on the floor, and you battling to like you know battling for position to reroll. That is fucking super rowdy. PC wouldn't approve that. Oh, oh there's a journeyman on Dio's team. So Dio does have less than eleven player. Hey, well, he had less than eleven. So this could be quite swingy match still with only eleven aside. Um, this could be swingy, couldn't it? So maybe that's maybe that's fair to reroll that, but it seems very greedy to me. Almost like genuinely, feel just feels like if he got he had juggernaut there, <laughs> which is funny because like that's one of those situations where the commentators, I always forgive for not spotting because obviously they haven't selected it on the player, but the players should never ever forget that you've got juggernaut there because you've chosen juggernaut on that player. <laughs> yep. And so when you roll the the blitz, the you know use juggernaut pops in. Yeah. The does get a couple of hits out of the this basing that he did the previous turn. Dio cut two guard shots before his game versus just madman. Well, I mean, you can't argue with it because he won that game, didn't he? But um, maybe he shouldn't have. Just to get more, wasn't it? Maybe he shouldn't have. Cutting a uh, with guard. Rough. Very rough. Yeah. Well, ought to get the wizard, depending on which way, which way you look at it. Um, I'd probably have more than a wizard than a wizard. Of course, in the new rules, more bit getting a reduced cost of 90 TV meant that... Uh, he could have, he could have still had one of those and uh, still got Morg. Significant buff for Morg in Blood Bowl three. 
whatever it, it comes out. Yeah. If anyone plays it. So he moved his yeah. runner back, but his runner is exposed to a blitz here, and I'm surely, surely he's going to get hit by Mighty Blow here. Surely. Surely you can't be serious when you need to power this guy first. Oh, you dickhead. I mean, not what I would have done, but who can say if it was good or bad? I mean, it's okay, isn't it, hitting him with, with a mighty blow? But I would have hit him with the other guy first. Yeah. And then if you get him down, then you get to smash the runner with mighty blow. No, but okay, this is his jump up on, so he's getting the hit there. I mean, it's all right. The ball's safe. But, you know, hitting this guy with mighty blow was just so good, wasn't it? You can get rid of that guy that had the game. Yeah, I really would have liked to have gone for that. But, I mean, it certainly wasn't wrong about shoot bank or whatever. I just, it's genuinely not what I would have done, but who can see if it's good or bad, basically. Basing him kind of set up right because if you're basing him and not hitting him, then you're just basing him to get punched by him, get him, by him and then maybe have one of your own guys cast. So. Classic play by uh, Dio chaining the stand firm guy. <laughs> oh, another one. Can't re roll again, can he? He re roll a thing that got his color, but he didn't have a Oh, he did, yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. So he literally can't re-roll. Never mind. We'll choose not to. But now this is looking like a game of Blood Bowl almost. Um, we'll continue to move at a glacial pace. Why, why didn't he just hit like ball? Uh, it was hard to get the ball carry assist there. The ball carry is the only real guy free. And then you could have surfed that guy, couldn't you? Which would have been really nice, but I guess he couldn't. Oh, gas! It's obviously instant apple because it was the first, first cast. It's the first one. It's a regular cast, a valley hard. So yeah. Yeah, he needs numbers desperately. Thrilling and fast paced, isn't it? Uh, they're waddling down the field. They're making two dice blocks, sometimes even one dice blocks. Thrilling. His name is Reddit. Crucifer won 1 0. It's not it. Yeah. And I believe he might be facing the winner of this, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. No need to be rude, Jimmy. <laughs> Holy shit! Ah, uh, cruelty, cruelty there. <laughs> also, British people also murder English every single word they speak. <laughs> I've been living here for more than ten years, so yeah. <laughs> but just have a sort of skill to it. <laughs> Shame, shame. <laughs> no pile on. Um, absolute unbelievable restraint. Oh god, he's gone too far. This is no longer a screen. This is going to be interesting ball protection. Why did he go here instead of here? He could have gone here and then the ball could have been here. That would mean double GFI to hit with him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is no GFI to hit with him, and he's got tackle. This is a bit of a balls up. I guess you go for the 1D here. I guess you've got no recovery after or anything. But at least the ball is in the floor. Yeah. Hmm. 
wonder if you go for the hit first so that maybe all these guys can double GFI. I quite like double GFI with these two at the end. Maybe it's a bit of a mistake from Dio here. Um, seeing as people were craving criticism of Dio. Um, maybe these guys should have gone last. To double GFI and tag, double GFI and tag, and then after you see what happens with the, with the blitz. Because he's, he's going for this one, isn't he? You just know he is. So maybe you make that first. That's the power. But the reroll is used. So you know, maybe you do just move these there then, but maybe this guy could have tried the double GFI. Probably worth it. I think it's probably worth trying all four GFIs, to be honest. Because otherwise all this happens. Again, he forgot he has a duel now. Yeah, it seems that way, doesn't it? Why, why reroll? That's your... Uh, well, I still have two, but... <laughs> mm. I mean, you mean Juggernaut? He just rolled a push and was just like, no, I won't agree to it. So, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. That's interesting, isn't it, from Dio? Whether he... He should have probably tried to tag one of the... one of them, at least. I'd say that's the only thing either of them have done wrong. Because Chuglank has had a tough choice whether to either keep that screen up. I think he probably should have kept the screen up and just gone there, to be honest. But... Indeed, Bringer of Doom. It was, it's been a pretty exciting game because uh, Dimmy has tempted me with uh, <laughs> with a <laughs> with a poached egg on toast after uh, after I finish this uh, <laughs> so <laughs> they are aren't they every time I see one I just want one like I can't help it the strength force hitting the ball isn't he yep. but it's only a push that goes the dodge Ooh. And the double GFIs because it might work. <laughs> oh, jump up, fail! Was greedy there. Ooh. It's only getting worse. Oh God! This is what what he's gone for the surf. Oh my God! What does he do with the ball? <laughs> is the ball just going to 1D? This is pretty mental. Is he going to dodge? He's just going to dodge. Yeah, dodge that. away. I mean, there was no tackle there, so it's alright, but... <laughs> Hand off to Wait, him. what? <laughs> what was that? That was a misclick. That must be a misclick or something. No, like that. he was just going to get 2D. Like he was just gonna get 2D'd, he had to, he had to, like he was in, he was either gonna get surfed or 2D'd or whatever, like he was in a pretty horrible spot, so I guess he just thought, go for a hand up. He really fucked it, that, that, that uphill, to be fair, the jump up failed, fucked him. But, uh, yeah, it was tricky, wasn't it? Could have stayed with the ball, he gets surfed if he stays there. I'm pretty sure, Chivito. Pretty sure he gets surfed if he stays there. Blitz this guy, push him to there. And, like, you know, fill in this spot, push this guy into there, chain him, and then the strength forwards. How did he stand up? How did he block? I think the jump up, uh, trying to jump up block was to really just get up the player and you have to be without any problem. I'm, I'm pretty sure he gets served yet. I, mean, I don't know how, but I'm pretty sure that, like, you know, because you've seen the replay so fast, aren't you? But I'm pretty sure in the game, you know, he probably thought, I'm going to get served here. And if he could have been served, Dio would have, like, you know Dio's going to spot it if he's going to get served. So I think he probably would have got served. Look doable to me from a, from a, the brief chance Ooh. that I got to see it. Wow, there you go. 
That is a beautiful cast that makes up for his failed uh, jump up. He's still got a reroll. Notice he doesn't bolt to stop a 3 plus. <laughs> uh, okay, just pick up straight with him. Fair enough. There you go, gets the 1 nil. It's been uh, complicated, but it's been done. Yeah. Yeah, it got hairy at times there. Wow, Dr. Fields back. That is bizarre. What would you put above it? I think poached egg is the best kind of egg. I think it's better than fried eggs. Like, obviously, the, fried, the fact that fried eggs are terrible for you as well goes ahead, goes, uh, counts it behind them. But. Yeah, I like scrambled. Boiled egg's the worst, probably, isn't it? But uh, I don't mind a boiled egg. I don't mind a boiled egg. I like pretty much any kind of eggs. To be honest, I, I pretty much like any kind of eggs because they I, I eat a lot of eggs. Just for breakfast, usually it's an omelette of four eggs. And that's just the beginning of the day. Yeah. I've had a few raw eggs. They're up there fine. Raw eggs are totally fine. I've had many a raw egg, actually. Well, there we go. There's, there's been a riot. Dio's got no rerolls. Yeah, scotch, scotch eggs the worst, for sure. Because they come with uh, all the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God, Chavita! Holy shit! I don't know what deviled eggs are. I'm not an egg connoisseur or anything, I just know what I like. I've never had an eggs benedict either. I know Wanger loves them. Deviled eggs look too much bollocks for me. Are uh, too much of an effort. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, eggy toast. Yeah, fucking, I fucking love eggy bread. Oh, oh. Eggs Benedict are overhyped shit. <laughs> so what, folks? There you go. Mighty Blow hit on his runner. That was all he achieved from that scoring attempt, basically. <laughs> And he's got well, it's not like there were many other options. No, no, but I mean, like he's got such a small odds, hasn't he, of scoring here? Like he's got a, he's got a catch on a six, then blitz on like a two D, and then oh, I guess you can lob it to him. Okay, so you can long bomb it to him. But yeah, all right. So he, he's got to blitz him on like a one. I just don't understand what he can do. And he's not even trying. So he's got to roll a 6 plus 5 plus 6, 4, 3, 2, 2. And then like a, a 6, 3. Like it's so insane, isn't it? Can't get a garden because he blocked it, didn't he? Block, blocked your path with it. It was just brutal. Six six four three, yep, yeah, pretty good. All right, so he's doing the handoff, which is better than Matt. Well, that's no, probably worse, right? Because it's about the same odds as passing it to him, except you can die in the two G. If I like, it's slightly better odds, isn't it? The double G if I is slightly better odds. Um, but. You can die on the GFIs and you can't die on, on a catch. So I think probably throwing it is... Uh, but then... Getting the ball before you risk the dodges is a good way of doing it as well, isn't it? Because then obviously the strength 4 guy dying is worse than the lineman dying. Who knows? 1% or 32 point percentage. 
pass would have been, I don't know where the ball was. But was the ball here? One, two, three, four. But the pass might have been a five, in which case it was better. And now, Dio is uh, one down. Yep. And uh, against a wizard. Yeah, and it's a blitzer as well, so it's an edge three guy that he's down, as well as strength four, movement five, so... Probably doesn't want this guy in the LOS, to be honest, wants a more responsive player, even though he's a strength four guy, he probably wants a more responsive player around to react to any shenanigans that happens. Current equity is probably, I don't know, 70-30 to the... to Choublon. Choublon. Le quatre de volet. It's so great because they come from Coakers, indeed. Yeah, they're great though, aren't they? Like they've got loads of, uh, they've got like loads of nutrients and shit, and they've got loads, of, loads of well, not loads, but proportionally they've got a fair amount of protein, haven't they? So they're, they're just pretty great. Oh yes, to tons of protein. That's why you know, uh, mandatory to eat them. And most of the protein powder or things that you can buy is uh, egg whites and milk, uh, the milk stuff. But yeah. Yeah, I do like. I do like eggs. I like eggs. There was an advert for Huel, and it was like, it's the equivalent of six eggs or whatever. And I'm like, well, you've just made me want to eat six eggs now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a bad uh, thing. I also have Huel, and sometimes I have it. And it's like, it has more stuff than that. So it's like, okay. <laughs> it's really easy, really quick, and it's like the one I have is uh, the black hue is 40 grams of protein for 400 calories. So it's like good deal <laughs> to reach the protein target, mm. but it tastes me, <laughs> but it's easy. Yeah, and see now, now this is the problem with putting that guy there. He's he's got this like strength four. He's pretty isolated. He's coming under attack, and he is one of the few edge three players on the team. In fact, one of the two now, because obviously the one was cast. It's mad that he had two strength four blitzes, isn't it? Holy shit! And yeah, he's obviously getting pommed instantly here. So I do think he should have had. He should have not done this. And there you go. Instant oh, and there you go. So yeah, there, there you go. There's, there's your criticism of Dio that, 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 that some people were craving. I hated that guy being exposed. I said it beforehand, and then it was instantly punished to the highest degree possible. Once again, uh, Singolo probably saying, I'm right, blitzers are useless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, some random to the block there. That was weird because that had the potential to destroy his like position down the side, didn't it? If that had been a double skull. Yep. Oh, not a double skull, sorry, one skull. Yes, yes, kind of skull. It was there. Yep. They're giving awesome. a massive opening there to to deal. Yeah. And yes, Chivite, Yes, nothing beats a Spanish omelette. Tortilla de patata. Mm. <laughs> like the ones my mom does. <laughs> Hello PC. Well, no spoilers, but but Dio's down to nine players and he's lost both his strength four blitzers. And Chou Blanc has a wizard, so I think it's no longer 70-30, I think it's more like about 90-10 now. <laughs> Massive equity shift with that Kaz. That's what happens with your exposed players. It's just brutal, isn't it? Like, it's just brutal now. I mean, and now Shublank has the, the option. He didn't do it now, but he has the option to use the wizard more or less any turn. Yeah. And if he can get rid of the runner, who's going to carry the ball? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, the ball can be like, so you can just play really super conservative now and know that he's got the ball in his back pocket. It's just disgusterous. Disgusterous, as Dio would say. But he's leaving himself a little bit of a corner, isn't he? I think that, that the OK got an extra hit there, but that blitzer could have run back over here. This is, uh, 
He's leaving a little bit of a corner. That could have been a dub skull even as well, right? Oh, and he's dodging as well. Oh, necro move, necro move. <laughs> Oh, die on dub oh. skulls! Never any justice. As I think Dayo hasn't uh, got any cars or uh, anything from Sri Lanka, I mean, it's... Yeah. It's been brutal for him, hasn't it? He doesn't get a knockdown there. He's got to stand here anyway, hasn't he? Okay, yeah. he's going to go a bit further. He has to make this 1D. He gets it. I don't know if the... I don't think the runner could have stayed here, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't... I don't know. No, because he was staying too back. He was too close to the... Guard, the mighty blow guy that just uh, got dice. Yeah, but he could have pushed him over here, couldn't he? So, like... I think he should have stayed back with the runner. Because this just seems to be giving him more of a way to get the hit on you. Like, obviously, he could have just knocked over this Troll Slayer and got 2D on you instantly. But, um, like, the fact that all of this worked afterwards makes me think staying here would have been better. I don't know. Oh, just dodges. He could have just moved this guy. What the fuck? <laughs> Is he going to assist? I guess this guy's gonna assist, that's why I didn't do that's why I did the dodge. Holy shit. That's mad. And now it comes <laughs> Uphill. <laughs> Cause he could have couldn't he have gone just couldn't he have just gone there and one day and he think, just uphill? Yes, yes. I wow. think he, he forgot that his runner doesn't have a guard. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Well, I didn't know how bad... Uh, <laughs> I didn't know how bad he was at Blood Bowl, so I'm going to uh, put, this, put the equity shift back. <laughs> back not as far as I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was no excuse for the for the uphill there, was there? No. Die I'm not scoring though. That was shocking. But you don't know, like maybe it was last second, right, and he just panicked or like maybe auto pathed it, you know? To be fair. Let's uh Plus one on the Artemis slider of rage. You know, maybe he was running out of time and uh, and he just clicked on him at the end and the auto pathing did that or he panicked and stuff, you know, you don't know, do you? Whatever it is, I feel like he should have done better, especially after that dodge. Oof. Instant reroll, he's going for the winning over in normal time. He doesn't bolt as well, by the way, which he could have done there, couldn't he? Maybe Dio was hoping for the bolt. He, this guy's got jump up though, so it's an easy, easy 2D, isn't it? Well, he can get it back. He didn't get. He didn't get his armor broken at two chances of asking. Is he going to foul here or just uh, dodge and base? He's going for another dodge. Now for the deal is a two plus score. Yeah. I mean, you could say it's a bad one. It would have still been a 2 3 2 to score. Whereas if you yeah. pile on, if you break his arm, there's no score possible whatsoever. So I think it probably wasn't a bad pile on. I think it was probably a good pile on. I mean, is there such a thing as a bad pile on? That's the other question you've got to ask yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Any well, pile on by definition the, the is a good one pile. That the, the ones that don't uh, get you a casualty are the bad pilots. <laughs> yeah. Always pile on. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
He's not scoring again! Oh my god, lunatic. <laughs> oh, Dio is a fucking loon, isn't he? And no offence. <laughs> yeah, but it works this time. <laughs> Why didn't he block the... Oh, okay, two, two guards, okay. So the GFI's there, freeze him. But I guess Dio's thinking is, you know, he can't stop him scoring in four turns or five turns, especially with a whistle. But now the problem is if you get your armor broken, is that you just lose. Which That's is exactly it. what happened. Yeah. But big school did a thing there. Yeah. That's a good reason to have it on every player. Yep. But yeah, that's that that the problem with Dio Strat here is any armor break you just lose. Now whether you think the armor break is less likely than you've been able to stop him scoring in however many turns, I don't know. Even if his armor hadn't been broken there, you know, it's fucking one day or whatever and then scrambling to get back, it's just horrible. Uh, so I don't know what scored then. Dio team uh, have lost to, to big players but still has a lot of rewards with guard and any that, so being able, you know, to stop the score is not impossible. Yeah. Yeah, I think he should have trusted in his defense, maybe. Even with it, like the wizard could have rolled a one, right? So, I think he had to take the score there. It was such a bad position. And now the, uh, now the other dwarves are away, aren't they? Dio is up shit creek. Without a paddle. <laughs> I say that he has the paddle, but not a boat. <laughs> okay, he's not going into this. Why isn't he going into this like central area? That's like kind of like some got some kind of cage formation around it. Nobody knows. Um, Bulkanu. Yeah, G six. Bulkanu. This guy, well, he probably thinks he can't stop him, right? With nine, nine men and a wizard, he probably thinks he can't stop the score. But... Are we going to see one of those uh, creative uh, dwarf plays from <laughs> Dio? Oh. oh, there you go, running a one, very creative. <laughs> hey! Ah, uh, one in 36 just to, just in case. I'm Into dead! dead. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> oh, this shit! <laughs> okay, yeah, it was very creative here. Yeah. <laughs> just pick that from an elf, eh, but not from a dwarf. <laughs> How's your fix go now, dickhead? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have seen more than a few uh, sprints into death today. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. Wow. Yeah, scoring looks better than idea now, doesn't it? Definitely. <laughs> I just go for the score because I worry about you know, the other stuff later, but if I'm not 1-1, uh, one, one, there is no chance of anything. I instantly lose. Yeah. This invincible dwarf. <laughs> well, I say, you know, that Dio has a complicated last time if he wants <laughs> to score. Yeah, he needs to uh he needs to chain this guy <laughs> three squares forward. <laughs> or he needs to Cheat the server or go for the uh, disconnect from the shoe blank or you know. <laughs> yeah, it's tricky. Just end the turn probably. No wizard. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't just for his GFI rolls, was it? G6, he, he wasn't trying to score. 
He had, he had multiple chines where he could have just scored and just didn't because he thought he would lose 2-1 in normal time, which is which is fair enough. Like, I think there's an element of truth to that. There's, like, no point just going 1-1 if you're going to lose 2-1. Like, but the idea with the stalling. But on the other hand, if you don't if you don't get that, then... Like, there's a balance, isn't there? And I think it's, it's how likely you think the opponent's score is. And... And if you think your calculation is correct that, you know, you can't stop it, then you should try and stall no matter how unlikely the stall is. Uh, but it's whether he, you know, whether it's just how he valued it, isn't it? How he valued it, the equity. Um, but there you go. Congratulations, Chew Blank. Commiserations, Dio. Thank you very much, Fimir. As always, absolutely glorious commentary. Yes, glorious. And thank God it's been the replay and not the real game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic